Look, I'm in uh, what used to be called Squaw Bay. Leave it comments below, share what, what the name of it is now, and I totally accept it. I know I'm getting it wrong. But I got eight inches of ice out here. It's a little, you gotta step into some water on the edges. Step onto the ice and you're good to go. All right, I don't know my depths. So I just wanna let you know, I'm on some ice. I'm on some good ice. It's still like 38 degrees out here. There's another fisherman over here. I got hours. Let's go. I'm gonna do this in the dark. Because it's getting dark, I use these tip of lights. Once I put them on the flag, once that flag pops up, it lights up, lets me know I got a fish. Where I should at least come set the hook. All right, there we go, that's, that's one. I'm trying to stay in a straight line. A straight line so I can just look down it and see if my tip ups are going up, right? All right, 25 more feet. More than my hand, way more than my hand. I'm not going in to get my sleeve wet. We're right underneath the runway landing strip here. Tip up. It opens up like this. You got a spool, you got a guide. The line goes through the guide. And you have your line, and at the bottom of the line, you have your hook. All right. So today, I think I'm just going to go with my leader because I got like a three foot leader on there. And I know the fish that I want are going to be looking up. We got the weeds that they're swimming in anyway. Got to grab a nice fatty. Ooh. A lively one. I'll use a kicker. I'll use a kicker. These guys are tricky. Oh my God. Dorsal. Yeah, he's gonna be a lively one. He's a good one. Again, I'm just gonna go three feet down. Pretty sure he's not wrapped up. Only my electronics are nice and high. All right. So the further he's getting, let's see what he looks like on the scope. You can't see. <laughs> oh, he's just above the weeds. Okay, he's good. I'm gonna bring him up just a little further. Oh yeah, bring that leader right to the top there. Cause we're in shallower water. I dropped the flag. That guy's pretty much set. I'm thinking that's kinda, it's kinda high. But I got it just above the weed line, above the weeds. So it's eight feet, but weeds are coming up halfway up the water column. Yep, here we go. We'll run that over, set it in, and then we'll scope it out with the pan optics. Yeah, that went well. I think it's about time. Just set up camp. Take care of this. over here. I can fit 
fish out of here. And you can look out the window once the door is closed. Well, I guess I gotta pivot just a little bit. We got everything set. Two tip ups out this way. Heater sitting right here next to me. Bait bucket. Electronics. So I'm gonna pull out some jigs. I'm gonna line up a, a little spoon and I'm gonna put some spikes on it today. Just in a different place, we're gonna try a different approach. I've decided I'm going with this little guy. This is called a Swedish pimple. That's seriously what it's called, is a Swedish pimple. All right, little guy, I'm gonna put some uh, spikes on the end there and we're just gonna dangle that in the water. 